In this video we are going to review the Zip WP. Hi, my name is Stratos and I create video tutorials about WordPress. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Zip WP is an AI that will help you create websites in just 60 seconds. Let's first see the website and I'm going to put all the links in the description below and as always they are not affiliate links. Let's scroll down, you can see that it says get early access 100% free, we are going to see at the bottom of the page the contact form where you can request for an access. Here it says that you can create the first draft of your website with this tool. Basically you will give some information about the website that you want to create and the tool is going to build a full website for you. A WordPress website that will have full content, 4 pages and maybe more in some cases, it will have images and also you will be able to select a layout based on the layouts that it's going to show you. Let's scroll down, here are some examples. And if we go at the bottom we will see first the form and uh, when you click join the waitlist you go to the form when you can request for an access. And behind the tool as you can see is basically the team behind Astra Theme and Adam Prazer. Immediately you know that this tool has a team behind it, it will be supported and it will keep getting better over time. Now if I go a little bit up, where are the frequently asked questions? It says here what's the catch with the free website creation? And it says here that the catch is basically that you can keep the website that you have created only for 24 hours before it's deleted. For me it's not a catch, it's something that they provide you for free, you do not pay for the resources of the server and you can create a full website in a matter of minutes. So if you do, just export the website that you have created and host it in your own website. Also for the free plan you have to know that they give you only 3 jobs per month, 3 times that you can use this tool to create websites every month. Again, it's all free, you don't pay for any resources of the server. Ok, let's go to the next one which are the plans. Now this is only available once you log in, so I'm not sure if this is the final plans that you're going to see or you will have something different, but based on what we have right now, this is the free version and you have 3 AI websites draft per month. You cannot publish them, you can just see them and export them to a new host. And also you cannot see it unless you are logged in inside uh, ZipWP. So if you want to show it to your client, you have to export that and host it in your own server. The website expires in 24 hours and you have also instant WordPress website. You can create a blank website instantly for WordPress and this will take a space from the 3 AI websites drafts per month. Then we have the personal which is $9 per month and you get 5 AI websites draft per month. 5 permanent sites, this means that you can publish those sites and have them permanently. And 5 GB of disk space. The pro version is $19 per month and you will get 10 AI websites draft per month, 10 permanent sites, 10 GB of disk space, SSH and SFTP access which is not available right now, it's yet to come, backup and restore again yet to come and clone sites. This is also something that we'll have soon. Next one is the business plan which is 49 bucks and you get everything in pro of course and 30 websites, 30 AI websites, 30 permanent sites, 30 gigabyte of disk, 10 team members, white label, AI frame builder soon, AI website redesign, soon again, VIP support and Skilljet Academy membership. Enough with the plans, let's go to the dashboard and this is the dashboard. The first that I want to show you is that this is an alpha version so it's not finished yet and this is why probably you don't have an access that you can just sign up, you have to be invited in order to try it out. Ok, in the left sidebar we have the teams, we have the dashboard, we have all sites where you can see all the sites you have created. Here it says create new and you can create a blank website which is basically a blank WordPress installation or a complete website which is going to use the AI builder. Then we have the custom websites, this is coming soon, permanent sites that we cannot use of course in this plan and archive sites which is something that you cannot use as well in the free plan. To start you can create the website, the complete website by clicking here or clicking here or clicking here, it's the same thing so let's start. 
Here, as you can see, we have these steps. There are eight steps and then your website is ready as it says here. Let's select first the kind of website that we want to build. It says business, restaurant, organization, person, product, event, landing page, medical and others. Of course, if you don't have anything, you can click others. I'm going to select business and here is the language. Let's click here and see the list and I'm going to scroll it down. And if you want to see if your language is supported, slow down the video and see if it's inside here. As you can see, the list is pretty big. I'm almost halfway through the list. I think they support every language that there is. Almost finished. Okay, let's click outside. So English is the one that we're going to select and let's click continue. That will take us to the second step. If you want to go to the previous step at any point, you can click the previous step that says here. Let's enter a name. This is the name for the application that you're going to create for the website. It's not the name that you're going to give inside the website, inside the WordPress settings. It's just for you to know what is the name of the project. So let's start by saying Stratos Kids. And I'm going to click continue. The third step, which is describe, is going to ask you for some information about the website. Now, it says here that you should share details such as services, product, goals, and it's better to add as many information as possible so it can produce better results. I have already created a text for me and let's paste it here. So I say that we are specializing, providing an exciting and fun playground experience for children. We offer hosting events and parties preschool teaching and a big playground for kids to enjoy their time. This is basically the services. Our experienced staff has more than five years of experience with kids. Now I see that I have experienced staff and experience with kids. Okay, so I need to change that and let's just delete the word experience from here. So this is the text that I want to keep and I'm going to click copy and put that in my clipboard. Now I want here some other fields as well. I would like a field that I can put my keywords and those keywords can be added inside the content. Another field would be the tone that I would like for the content to have. Is it professional? Is it formal? Is it funny? Is it something different, friendly? What tone do you want to have? And for the last part, it will be uh, this improve using AI. If you click it, it will replace all the text. So I would like that to happen in another field because now I don't have the original text that I did write and if I want to make some changes I don't have that text. You have to copy that, keep it in your clipboard, paste it somewhere else and then uh, make all the changes that you want. So I would like that to be in a separate field and then you can copy what you want, change what you want and then put it in the final field for the content. Keep in mind that this is the field that it will take all the information for the content of the website, for the full content of the website. So let's continue. And here we are in the fourth step, which is the select images. As you can see, 20 images selected. You can see the images here. You can change the orientation if you want to landscape or portrait, and you can clear the images and select what you want yourself. Also here, the keyword is playground, but you can clear that up and create another keyword. Search for different images and select those as well. So I'm going to select some images from this keyword. Let's go for something like that. As you can see, it doesn't ask for a certain amount of images that it wants to be selected. You can go with four, you can go with 20, you can go with 50. So I would like here to say something like minimum 15 is required or is suggested, something like that. Let's delete that and put something like kids smiling. and maybe kids playing. I will go with 15 images probably. 
Okay, and I think I'm good. Let's click continue to go to the next one, which is the contact information. This is the email, phone number, something like that for the address. And for the social media, I'm going to click here. I'm going to select Facebook and I'm going to type facebook.com and add another one, which is the Twitter account. which is now, I think, X, not Twitter, twitter.com, enter, and we're good to go. Let's continue. And as you can see here, it says skip this step. So if you don't want to add those contact information at this moment because you want to create uh, just something for your client and you can add those later, you can just keep that step. And this is our end result. We have some layouts that we can scroll down and see. And if I hover over to any of those layouts, it will scroll down to show me the home page. If we can see here the home about services contact, these are four pages that is already created from this tool. It has 18 layouts in total. And some of those have four pages. Some of those have five pages. This one has home about services, portfolio and contact. So I'm going to scroll down just to quickly see the layouts and I'm going to select one of those. I'm going to select this one. Let's click continue. And here are the final information that you can see the business name, the business description and so more. And then the contact details. I would also like something here that I could change the contact details and probably the name. I know that I can go back and go back to the step just to put something, but if one digit is missing from here, I would like just to have a pencil here, click it, and then change the contact information, which is simple. I'm not talking about changing something like the business description, just something to change a single character or a single word. Okay, let's click the start building this website. Now, I know that says 60 seconds, but I don't really care even if it takes five minutes. I don't really care because it's a tool that is going to create me a full website. I don't really care if it's going to take one minute or two or three or five. Uh, I'm not going to pause the video just to see how long it could take. But again, I don't really matter how long it's going to take. It's less than two minutes. It's more than one minute, but it doesn't matter. Keep in mind that I'm pretty sure that your browser and probably your computer will take a big role here. So if you have probably a slow computer with a slower browser, it will take a little bit more. Now it's 100% and here we have your credentials. Now I would recommend to copy those credentials just to have them. Of course, you don't need them. You can just click and access the back end of your website. But if you're going to move the website using a tool with cloning capabilities, then you may need those username and password credentials. Let's click customize the website. And here it says that it needs to open a pop up. So I'm going to allow that. And now you can customize the colors and you can change the logo. So here you can select the logo. I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to just play a little bit with the colors and see what is good. I think that we're going with the blue color, but let's see a little bit. And as you change the colors, you can see that the buttons and every links that they have, every color basically changed based on the pattern that you select. So I'm going for the blue and this is basically the home page, as you can see here. OK, enough with that. Let's click Save. And this is my end result. If I scroll down, I can see why choose Stratos Kids, safe environment, endless possibility for play, unforgettable memories about 
Stratos Kids are offering. You can see that says playground fun, event hosting and preschool teaching. Those were the services that I selected and I added inside my text. And this is great because you just add your services and it will add for you. Of course, all the content can be changed later on. And I would suggest for you to go and read everything in order to be sure that this is correct because it's basically an AI that created the content for you. And probably you have to go also and replace some images. But think about that. It only took one and a half minutes. I, I don't know. I didn't count the time, but it took less than two minutes and it created a full website. Let's go to the About Us page. This is the About Us page. My business. Okay, join the fund today. And if I go here and click get started, it will go to the contact us. So the buttons, I'm thinking that they're already connected that were supposed to be. Okay, event hosting, preschool teaching, playground fun, special events. Again, the button goes to the contact us page. And this is the contact us page with the contact us information. And this is the form. Let's see, here it has more than the information that I gave about the social uh, environments, but that, that's not a big deal. And let's go to the top, and now let's go to uh, see a little bit the pages. Now, I know that I would like to see some changes also for the builder itself. So I know that this image doesn't have an alternative text. Let's inspect that. Let's go click here and click inside here. And we will see that the alternative text is empty. Let's do it again because I think that it didn't took that. Okay, alternative, as you can see, it's empty. So I would like the alternative text to be already inside here. If it doesn't know what's the alternative text about this section, then it can just add your business name, but it shouldn't leave the alternative text empty. By inspecting the code a little bit, you will see that it has divs almost everywhere. So this H2 is inside the div. This uh, H6 in, is inside a div again, so it creates divs for every single item that it will going to add. This is not something that it's ideal, but again, this is almost happening immediately from an AI builder, and they are probably going to fix it later on. So let's go to the back end and let's see what it has installed for me. So as you can see, the Spectra Builder is here, and if I go to the appearances, I will see for the themes that it uses the Astra theme. If I go to the plugins, I will see, of course, the Spectra plugin and an SVG support plugin. And for the settings, if I go to the permalinks, I will see that the structure is post name, which is great. Now for my review. What can I say? I just use a tool, and by adding just a few lines of text and selecting some images, that I didn't search, it basically showed me, I add some keywords and it showed me some images and I just selected, it created a full website with four or five pages based on what design you selected. So as a value, it's enormous. I don't know why they are giving that for free. Even with the three website limitation, you are not paying for the server that you are going to use, for the resources that you are going to use to create the website. Yes, it has things that I would like to see improved. I would like to see keywords. I would like to see other fields. I would like to see better created pages inside the builder when you inspect the code. But I don't think that this tool is something that you just click it and then hand it over to your client. This is just for a wireframe and you're going to go change the images that you don't want to, change the text that you don't want to read it, edit that and then hand it over to your client. You have a full website that you created in just an hour. I'm pretty sure that soon we're going to get more fields and they are going to improve the tool and we're going to get even more value for the money that we have already paid, which is zero. So even if you're not going to use a tool like that to create websites for your client, I think that you should use it just to get ideas, just to see some layouts, just to see ideas about the content and the images that it has used. So that was all with the video. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.